Hey, in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at something different. It's something that I've been messing around with for the last couple of days. I tried it out a few months ago and thought it was really interesting technology, but it's really evolved since then. It's a site called Art Breeder, and basically what it allows you to do is select a piece of art, which is essentially a gene, and then you can combine genes to create something original, or you can basically take an existing piece and then sculpt something new from it and save it. I've already done that a bunch of times. So I have a bunch of faces that I've created, variations of the same face or totally original faces. And uh, yeah, you can even make sort of more artistic faces. There's a slider for making it more artistic. So these were the ones that I did several months ago and they're very sort of more artistic based pictures but still very well done you know if i painted that myself i'd be happy but now what we're getting into is like really really almost photo realistic pictures so this was actually a sort of a painting or a more painterly sort of picture and a more photo realistic kind of picture of a native american woman which has created this sort of Native American young woman. Which is just crazy that it's able to do that. But also, I mean, if there are any fellow artists that are watching this, if you'd painted something of this quality, whether digitally or traditional mediums, it's no small feat. This Asian guy I took from this as the original gene and then altered it to create this picture, which again is, you know, really super detailed. There's nothing about it that seems unnatural to me. It's very well done. This one, it's quite similar to the one that it was taken from. I just increased the age and made the eyes more blue. I think that the, around the eyes, they're not very natural looking. They're a little bit too misshapen or something. But still, overall, really interesting. This one, there's a few variations of this one, but again, sometimes around the eyes, what gives it away is more painterly. That one could be almost photorealistic if the eyes were a little bit more precise. But I mean, the detail with the freckles and everything, it's just crazy. When I made the hair more red. So there, with the young Indian woman, or Native American woman, I took the slider and made them more Indian, as opposed to Native American. So what I'll do is I'll select one, and I'll show you how to tweak it, basically. So once you've got it selected, you hit Breed. Once you're in this mode, you can adjust the various kind of sliders to sculpt it. So say I want to make the height of her face slightly longer. And then if I want to take the gender and make her slightly more feminine. Blue eye sliders, sort of random. It's a bit chaotic. It doesn't always give more blue eyes. It sort of I don't know what it does sometimes. If you sort of change the race slider to more white the blue eyes become more apparent. But when you're using it on darker skins, it tends to, it changes things that aren't necessarily easily defined. The chaos, uh, you can reduce that. I think that tends to make things look a bit more realistic sometimes.
I'm going to actually save this one as is. It's quite like that. But what you can also do is save one and then keep tweaking. So if I want to make this lady more Asian in features or maybe more Indian. Or combination of Asian and Indian. Increase the age slightly. You can adjust the pitch in the yaw. You can make them more happy or angry. It's funny, you know, like when you make them appear more happy, I find myself smiling because a smile is infectious, which is a really good sign that it's a convincing algorithm. Because it's tricking your brain into thinking that you're actually looking at someone that's smiling back at you. Reduce anger. You can soften their features. You can have the eyes more open. More closed. Some of the sharpness, brightness, saturation you can actually change things more than just the saturation. And there's another one that I will see if. Then what I'll go down here is change the gender to more masculine. I mean, instant. So, again, I can go up, I can add facial hair. It's just totally fascinating to me. So if you can imagine what stuff like this is going to be like in the future for character creation in a video game, for example, and I'll maybe do another video where I take a look at the Unreal Engine uh, MetaHuman creator, which I signed up for the beta for and was playing around with. This, if they could combine this kind of AI technology into the MetaHuman creator, it would be just next level. Awesome. But I think what this thing's doing is just absurd. So say what I can do is go back to my creations here. So from here for example, I could take two of these people and or two of these generated images and then breed them together to create something new. So say I take this guy. And then I breed and I select another. Now, if I go to ones that I've created. And I'll 
I'll choose somebody that's very different from that guy. So I'll choose this lady here. So this is what it's bred from there. But instantly, like, I mean, that's crazy. But it was able to just do that instantly. So if I take that, I'm saving that one because I really like that. You can also click spawn multiple and it'll like give you siblings basically. And again, that one looks really natural. So does that one. So yeah, artbreeder.com. I will leave a link to that in the description. Hopefully that gives you an idea of the kind of craziness that you can do with, with this. I mean, there's so many of these that just seem totally convincing, you know, like, like I could totally, they're really believable faces. And it's hard for me to wrap, as an artist, it's hard for me to wrap my head around that these are AI generated, but yeah, I'll leave a link in the description to where to try this out. And as I say, I'll maybe get a video up on the Unreal Engine MetaHuman Creator in a little bit, which is something that I'm just experimenting with. So hopefully you found this video interesting and uh, I'll be back with another video soon. Cheers.